hi there according to hooke's law stress is directly proportional to strain but this is true only up to a point and beyond a point if stress is increased we find that strain is not proportional to stress we will examine the stress strain graph here we will also look at the various type of materials and their elastic properties in this part of the graph the material follows hooke's law and strain is directly proportional to stress and the material returns to its original shape if the stress is removed in this part ab of the graph we find that the material does not obey hooke's law that is strain is not proportional to stress however the material is still elastic in this region which means if we remove the stress the material re uh, returns to its original shape this point b is known as the elastic limit or the yield point this point c is in the plastic region and here if the stress is removed the material does not return to its original shape we see a permanent deformation in the material in this section b c d e of the graph the wire behaves in the plastic region that means it is getting deformed and we find that a small change in stress produces a large deformation or a large strain in the wire d is the breaking stress and e is the fracture point between d and e we find that although the stress is reduced the strain still increases and also between d and e the wire flows like a viscous fluid these are stress strain graphs for some materials the glass is brittle and it is strong it can take lot of stress without deformation but it has a very small plastic region and beyond a point when stress is applied it simply breaks without much deformation steel is strong it has a big elastic region and it can be used to make bridges etc but it has a very small plastic region and therefore it should not be used to make wires because these can break suddenly ductile materials have long plastic region and this is what is used to create deformations and draw them into wires elastomers are special materials for which stress strain graph is not a straight line even within the elastic limit the strain produced is much larger in proportion than the stress such materials have no plastic region the breaking point lies just close to the elastic limit rubber is one such example it can be pulled to several times its length and it still returns to its original length thus its elastic region is very large and it has no plastic region in our body the elastic tissues of our heart and the collagen are some examples of elastomers i hope you found it useful thanks for watching